Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today, I want to share with you a gift that I received that actually looks like a haul. I am totally overwhelmed with the generosity and kindness of Miss Wendy Wagey. She gave me these wonderful items in addition to the fireplace fire. Wendy, I just want you to know how much I appreciate this gift, especially in light of all the things that has happened with Daddy getting sick and passing last month. This truly made Christmas feel like Christmas again. He would have really been tickled to see all these lovely gifts you've given me. So thank you again. Just look at this lovely chair and sofa set. Now, this is a challenge for me, dolls, because I'm not used to doing modern settings, but I'm definitely going to use these and set them up really, really nicely. And here's another lovely item, a pool table. Dolls, this is absolutely adorable. This piece is really nicely made, very sturdy and heavy, and it actually has really nice velvet on the surface. To me, it looks like it's just screaming for a few accessories to bring it to life. Now, here is an item I am totally amused by. I've never had a dollar store dollhouse piece. I've seen many artists use them or refurbish them and enhance them. So I definitely want to try my hand at that one day. And this is a lovely coffee table. Again, a more modern style, kind of a, a modern shaker look. I really like it. It's got a nice glass inside it. And here's a beautiful dresser. Now, this is more, um, I guess it could actually be a more traditional, so it could actually go modern or vintage, but it's really pretty. I love the reddish mahogany color. Now, dolls, this is a really rare piece. For some reason, it reminds me of a post office, but it can be used in a store or in a shop. So I've got a lot of ideas tumbling around in my head for this piece, but it's really, really nice quality, nice and heavy. This is one of those pieces that I consider an anchor for a room. It sets the stage for all the other pieces. And then I've got this really cute little bookshelf. It's got a nice little design on the little doors at the bottom. Really cute bookcase. There are so many great uses for a piece like that. And then here we are, a standard staircase. Again, that always comes in handy. And then I've got a couple more kind of more modern shelves. They're like half round. I can see them in a workshop or in a sewing room. So they definitely have a use. So I'm going to set those aside and see what ideas I come up with for those. And here's a cute little clock. I think that's absolutely adorable. It seems a little bit smaller than 12 scale, but you never know what you might need. And here's a lovely little toilet. Now it is missing the seat, but no problems on that dolls because you know I know how to make a toilet seat. So just in case you haven't seen my bathroom video series for the rooming house, I will leave a link in the description. But maybe I'll do a video about how to upcycle some of these lovely pieces. Now this is a TV. It's on a stand. It's already glued together. It's nice and solid. That would be cute in a modern scene. And there, here's another dresser. I do believe it goes along with that chest of drawers that I looked at a little bit earlier. And it also has a mirror. They had it connected to the back. So that's absolutely lovely. So we're going to sit it aside. And look at this. Now this kind of gives me a feel it's a kitchen sink. Um, the sink looks a little bit shallow for a kitchen sink. But again, these pieces are really nice. They definitely can be upcycled. And dolls, when I say upcycled, um, I mean more or less make them work for whatever my scene is. I'm not afraid to deconstruct or paint or change it around to fit what I need it for. And here's a lovely swivel mirror. And that's really nice. That's a really nice piece. It just needs the pin to be pushed through on both sides. Really, really nice piece. That will work really nicely in a bedroom. There's so many ideas tumbling through my head. This is a nice little end table. That's adorable. And we got a little piano. Now, again, this one is a little bit smaller scale, similar scale to that grandfather clock I just showed you. How adorable. It actually opens and actually has the lid prop. This is really cute. And this is another cabinet, a more modern style. Now, to me, again, this would look nice in a store or a dress shop or something like that to have it arranged with delicate items that they want to display. And then here we are, dolls, with a couple refrigerators. Those are so cute. One's a little bit smaller, but they're both very, very nice, and they're a good weight. 
I really, really think these are adorable. And again, they're more on the modern side. So I'm definitely going to have to do some modern settings to make good use of these lovely pieces. And literally, it looks like I've got enough pieces to do an entire house here. Look at the shelving in there, dolls. That's so cute. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, in addition to these two lovely refrigerators, I have two lovely ranges. Very modern. And you can see, like I said, one, uh, that white one, I think it goes with that other refrigerator because the styles kind of match. And they're both really nice, good quality. They're in good shape. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do some modern settings. And that, like I said, it'll be a real um, step out, outside of my comfort zone. But I accept the challenge. And here is a sink or a vanity. I'm not sure if this is supposed to go in the kitchen or in the bathroom, but definitely I will make it work. And here's a lovely little fireplace. Oops, I think I've got it upside down. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way up. And I think I would definitely open the back out to make it have a little bit more dimension and depth, similar to how I did the one in the roaming house. And here are a couple of little nice little end tables. Again, the light wood, more modern looking. And here's a lovely set. It's a, a sofa and two chairs. Now, it looks like um, there's a leg that needs to be repaired on the back of the sofa, I do believe. No, it's on the chair. It's a missing leg, but I do believe it was in one of the small packs of accessories. So I definitely can repair that, fix it and definitely make it work. But those pieces do look a little bit more vintage. And here's another one of the little dollar store type cabinets. Now this looks like a cabinet or, uh, or a baby changing table. So with a little chalk paint, that'll look nice in the nursery for the rooming house. So I definitely want to work with that. Now I do have a couple more baby items, a high chair, and I actually have a a bed and a toy box that are more of a modern style. And I think that would be really cute doing like a modern nursery. These pieces are already painted really nice, really modern looking. So yeah, it would be easy to accessorize that and make it look really lovely and really, really cute inside a dollhouse. Look at that. Got the little teddy bear on the end. So dolls, yeah, there, there is enough pieces here to fully outfit a house. So I'm definitely going to have to put these items to good use. Now, I was really excited about this piece. Now, it's a bed. It is broken. It's missing um, the legs and things like that. But dolls, if I can make a bed from scraps and, and trash, I definitely can fix a broken bed. So I'll leave a link in the description for my beds from scrap. Yes, the more I look at these pieces, I'm definitely going to upcycle some of these pieces and repair them for an upcoming house. Now I want you to look at that. This is a changing table that actually goes with that set. So I'll just set it aside with the things that need to be upcycled or fixed. Now here's a lovely little corner cabinet. It's definitely vintage. I love it when something so simple has working doors. The right accessories on a piece like this will really draw your eye into a scene. And then we do have a few accessories. And they're kind of mixed in, but they're cute. This is a little plant. And she has like some board games, um, boxes and things that look like they're handmade. Got the dominoes and it's a couple more board games. I've got a mirror. Look at this doll, the detail. This is actually a Monopoly set with all the accessories, the cards and the, the printed money. These items will look great for a game night or a teenager's room. And then we've got some serving trays with the segments, a mixing bowl. You could put some chips and dip and all kinds of hors d'oeuvres and things to serve at a party. Those are so cute. Then I've got some spare silverware here, dolls, and some silver uh, eyelet loops. Those always come in handy. This right here, dolls, did it for me. The pizza. Yeah, this is definitely a game night, children's room, teenager's room. I I have so many ideas. Just seeing this pizza, it just tickles me so much. A couple more games with all the pieces and cards, another box. So I could just, just go wild with just this alone. And then the Candyland board, board game. That's really, really cute, dolls. I mean, 
the imagination and time that went into making these items is just great. I've never done any items like this at all. And I realized I have four flower pots and that's great because I used up all the other ones I had in the rooming house laundry room. So dolls, look at this lovely little trunk. I think that's adorable. I definitely can fix it up and age it to make it look great for the rooming house. And I've got some little brass pins here. I guess they're more like tacks. And also some eyelet loops that will really come in handy with detailing some items that I have. Definitely will work well in my supply box because you never know what you might need. And here's a single set of dishes. I could put food on that or put it on a shelf. Look at the design on it. Really, really pretty. And dolls, here are a couple hurricane lamps. They're still in the packaging. So many of these items are brand new. They've never been used. I just appreciate the generosity and the care put into this gift. Now these hurricane lamps are lovely. They're non-working, but you can never have too many lamps. Look dolls, a little utensil set. Again, still in the packaging. That's adorable. That'll look really great in a modern kitchen scene. So there's a lot of liberty and freedom um, for certain things if you're doing a modern house because in some ways almost anything goes. And here's a package of some more modern looking uh, elements or accessories. Pieces like this can be modified or enhanced, even make a mold to make the piece um, three-dimensional. So definitely don't neglect when you find little pieces, a lot of times they can help you make what you really need to make because you have the general style or shape. Same thing with this. It just needs to be duplicated so that it will be three-dimensional. Lovely pair of scissors. They're a little bit big, but painted the right way. There could be some lovely shears in a toolbox or in a sewing scene. Here's a little plastic teapot. It can be painted to look ceramic. And here's a bag of bottles. That might work out in my doctor's house. So I found a few spare parts, some legs, and then I have a drawer. Maybe I can build a whole piece of furniture to go around the drawer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the little wood pieces will work for the repairs. Now here I got a couple cans of pop, some Fanta, and some Sprite. That's absolutely hilarious, but I'll look great with the pizza. So in the midst of all of these wonderful things was another bag, and I found a table and some lovely dolls. They are all so cute. Some of them are 12 scale and some of them are different scales, but I'm a doll mom, so I'll make sure each and every one of them is loved, happy, and safe. So I've got a lady with a baby in a robe, a dressed up lady. I got a little girl. She's a little bit bigger as well. Look dolls, I've got twins. And here's a small bag of plastic plants. Paint it properly. They look like bushes and shrubs. And also a little dress and a cute little pair of suspender pants. Somebody really took time to make those really lovely. Items like that come in handy in the bedrooms to hang on clothes hangers or even dress one of your dolls. <laughs> so this has been a wonderful gift. I've enjoyed myself so much. Thank you, Wendy, for lifting my spirits and cheering me up. So dolls, be watching out for part two of the gift that looked like a haul. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.